All right, good morning, y'all from District 10. We are at Cha Guin Chi Fung. Always forget the name of this Cha. Uh, today's all about the markets, so we're gonna get in here, check them out. Usually parking's that way for this one, but we got a little VIP parking this morning. Let me let me show you it. <laughs> Hello, hiểu rồi. Mình nói tiếng So here we are, parking front and center. Chú told me I could park for free here. I was telling him I was parking at the other place. He said, how much is it over there? I said, 7,000. He said, that is too expensive. You park over here tomorrow. <laughs> so that's what we kind of came to our agreement for today. So we're actually in the food market part of the market. I just came from right back up this alley, came right here. You come through here and there's just a line with stalls you can eat. You can even go back further in. That's how all markets are in Vietnam. Each little market has their little eating section as well. You can go through and you can eat in them for days and even weeks. Are they called Rao Có rào gì? Rào sống Ờ, à, rào sống Rào sống dưa đeo, giá à. Cái này giá nè, cái này dưa đeo, rào, rào sống à. Cái này à, xà lách Ờ, xà lách Mở hàng tỏi Ừ, mở hành tỏi đúng rồi à. Cái này thịt Cái này thịt nước, thịt nước. Cái này nem nước. Dạ. Đó. Rồi cái này chảy giò. Ờ. Nem chảy giò nha. Cái này chảy giò. Ờ, nem nha. Chảy giò, thịt, nem, rồi ba thứ. Dạ. Okay. And that's the thing about this spot. You know, he's actually been here 42 years. He told me he's 67 now. So he started when he was 25. But they do the little steps here. He's got it always marinating here and he only does a little bit kind of like made to order they're frying up the cha ya made to order making it bringing it here to the spot frying it up same with the nim nung every little ingredient doing just a little bit just what they need not making too much so just make sure you get it fresh and they're not going to lose anything because they're not going to make so much and then not sell it and look at this actual business card right here i think he made this one about 20 30 years ago it looked like it'd been here he didn't give these out to many people and it's crazy getting in here today actually uncle has not had any time to relax at all i think we're gonna have to order up we're gonna have to get out of the way i kind of feel like i'm slowing him down and this man is on a mission so it's not bothering him let's order it up and get a bowl of this okay and here we go we got it all dished up. Now I got everything, so when you get kind of like a top cum, you get it on the separate side plate if you just get one or two things, they'll decorate really nicely on your bowl. And he's actually got some Chinese onion pickling in there as well. I kind of want that in my nook mom, so I gotta ask her that. But look at this, this is a lot of food. Hey, yeah, come sour, come sour. <laughs> you asked me for it, he's trying to tell me sorry. I was like, man, don't, don't worry. I guess I'm gonna translate that. I don't know why I do that. That may really matter. Y'all are gonna find out. He's, he's really nice, he's apologizing. No reason to apologize. But we gotta turn the hat backwards for this. So here it all is right here. This is really special. The nim nung and the chai ya are what I really come here for. That fried up little spring roll. Um, his thit nung as well is good. Look how thin it is. Look at that. Almost acts more like a little bit of a jerky. It's kind of dried out. And then his actual peanut on top, really roasted. Got a little burnt little specks to it. He's crushed it a lot. It's not just big chunks, which I really like. And then we got this bowl over here. This is our fresh rice. No, this is all our herbs and vegetables been chopped up. We got the pickled carrot, daikon. We also got the lotus root right here. That's really special. Haven't seen that before. Again, the peanut. And this little flavor pack mixture right here. The scallions and oil. We've also fried up some garlic, I do believe. You can see little bits of like chicharrones, which would be like little pork belly bits as well. And then he's got his nook mom. You see, it's actually not very viscous, not very thick, very runny. Adds a lot of vinegar to it or lime or some type of souring agent. It's, it's gonna be balanced. It's not too sweet like some places that really hit you with the over heavy sweetness. It's viscous. It's gonna be a lot more refreshing, a little sour kick to it. Not to mention, I got one of the best seats in the house. We're right here next to the grill. Got that smoke just wafting in my face right now. That's okay. I, I'm okay with like smelling like smoke all day. I, I enjoy it.
I actually can't add everything here. This, this bowl is going to be too overflowing. And here, let's go ahead and get that fried up spring roll. You see pretty much typical ingredients. I'm sure it's going to be pork. It's going to be like a jicama. It's going to be onion. It's going to be carrot. It's going to be woodier mushroom. Look at that flakiness on the skin of it though. Already coming off a little bit. And then I like to give mine just a little extra love in the nook moment. Enjoy a bowl of whether it be boom cha ya or boom fit noon. You got to get the rice noodles doused in the nook mum. Mm. That for me is really where this bowl starts to shine. It's so refreshing. It's light. To me, this is what it should be. You get some version of just so sugary, so sweet. And this is the opposite. It's sour, it's refreshing. It even makes you pucker just a little bit. And then you get a meaty, fatty piece. A little bit of heat coming from it and just the essence of sugar. That's what a bowl of this should be. Mm. And remember that melt in the mouth piece I was talking about? It's right here with the Nim Nim. Best Buy. Cool. Honestly, I should just get like four orders of the Nim Nim and you would be the happiest person ever. For me, the meat is a little too dry, too sweet. For me, I just when I come here, I'll actually just get the boom cha, y'all, with a side of the nim nung. That's just the way to go. You know, for me, I cannot ever stop eating bowls like this. I feel like I'm not the only one that feels this way. But the more you work down to them, the closer you get to the end, they get better and better with every bite. Now, we have just made our way into District 6. We're at Chabintai. Now, we're coming here for a bankanku that's been here for a long time, but I love this market. It's wholesale, it's huge. It's down here in Jalun, which is the Chinatown of Saigon. So it's kind of crazy, and I'm about to show you the best part, is nobody cares anymore. Get that off here. Show these people your smile. Get in here, walk around, check it out. Yeah, mang can go. Mm, đúng rồi. Mang can go cái này là chú chào. All right here. So we're started off. It's all kind of like in sections. Right now you've got like all your cookware. People come here. A lot of people buy the ingredients for their restaurants and stuff. You got all the dried ingredients. I don't know why you're looking at me when you can just look at the market here. Check this out. Dried mushrooms and everything. Chào ba. Look, all your straw hats. I need one today. It is so sunny. Incredibly hot and sunny day today. We haven't, haven't had that rain yet today. Hopefully we'll get something later. I'm sure we will. It is monsoon season right now. Look at this stuff you can set, get here. Look at it. All of your housing stuff. People coming by on carts. Look at it, get all your dried stuff, different types of dried mushrooms. That would be a woodier mushroom, the nam miao. All different types of things. Ooh, we got kukeo right here, which is a Chinese onion. Pickling that, saw what we ate earlier. Everything we had with our bum thit nung this morning, so. You can get it, a lot of people come over here, don't want to make it at home because it takes too long. You have to make it in bulk if you really want to get a profit. But here we are, food court. Yeah, home. Yeah, home. Me and Fee? Oh, home. Come on, cafe. Come, 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 Yeah. Yeah, come on, Jay. Yeah. Yeah. Come, sao, come, sao, sao, Fee? Oh, gửi mì, đúng rồi. Yeah. Yeah, chị tên là gì? My name is Thảo. Oh, Thảo. Chị Thảo. Uh, okay, Chị Thảo. Nếu uh, em có các nước sẽ trả lời đây. See you again. Yeah, okay. Hẹn gặp lại. 
But look at this. This is a food court that you feel the history. You feel the wear and tear here. Home and fat. And the best part is when you start getting in here, you see the actual Chinese characters. Because in Jialun, this is where the people from southern China all migrated. So you get a lot of Cantonese in here. You can, you can feel the influence. It's got its own little distinctive feel to it than other parts of Saigon. Oh, and y'all see down here? We got that bang cool. Got a lot of people at our place. It's so popular. I call bang cool. Chào chú. Oh, hello. Yeah. You know a lot in me, huh? Ah, một xíu. Yeah. Where you from? America. Where America? Arkansas. Do you know? Me from Miami. You're from Miami? Very nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Go back. Yeah. 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 Có có cái cua đúng không? Dạ em dạ muốn. Đúng rồi. Dạ, cảm ơn bạn nha. Dạ chào chị. Dạ chào anh. Ok, mắm. Mắm mắm đi. Có chú cháu. Chào chú cháu. Chào cháu Dạ. So I actually have a friend who is a local of Saigon and he's a food blogger and he told me to come here. He actually told me to come to the place earlier today, but... So I asked him yesterday if I could come in here and make a video. They said yes, so let's get in here. Yeah, sexy, huh? Oh! Con nước gì? Dừa lạnh, canh dắt, chanh dây, rau má, chanh dây ha. Ờ, có chanh dây. Nè, không muốn chanh dây, có chà tắc. Chà tắc. Dạ. Một ly? Ờ, một ly. Now you see why I changed into this, like, I changed to a smaller camera, and you see why, because when you get in the market, it's crazy, everybody wants to help you and everything. But look at this. Ờ, dạ hiểu. Dạ. Đúng. Bạn ở đâu bạn nào? Bạn ở Kinh Phò. Biết không? Biết. Có đi qua một lần. Ờ, dạ hả? Ờ, dạ hả? So you can see the little wheat here, which is a blood cake. This is actually wheat bit, so it's going to be from a duck. This is the best you can get. You don't want, you don't want pig, you don't want cow, you want it actually from the duck. Those are going to be the most flavorful, the best textured, everything. And Mr. Rich over here counting all the money. Yeah. 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 So you got the crab. You got a big old prawn in there. I forget what all goes in this bowl. It's like 50,000 for a bowl. It can be more if you want to add like actual whole crab to it, but it's all work and no, no fun. Yeah. And we got, can you believe this is only 50? I guess I should say, so chu chow is like, 62, but this place has been here like 40 years. So he started selling when he was like 22. I talked to him yesterday, got a little bit more of the story. It's easier to kind of talk to him when you don't have a camera and get to know their story a little bit. So, very cool little spot. He started when he was 22 and been here the whole time. Yeah, come on, yeah. Banyu, huh? Muy lam. Okay. Let me put this down. I gotta pay for the drink. So yeah, there's a lot going on here. We actually got a little fried 
I think it's jackass. We got the actual meat of the crab, which she'll give you. And these right here, these are like little croutons, but they soften up a lot because she cooks them in that broth. They're just doughy and soaking all that soup. Like I said, we got the blood cake. And I do believe, I do believe this is a pork meatball. Yesterday I actually had the pork skin. I don't see pork skin today. Mm. Let's try the best part though, the broth. Ooh. You know when they're, they're, they're simmering that and building that broth and that flavor, you can taste all the, the healthiness, the, the bones, the milkiness from it, the way it just soothes you, it goes down. You can tell she's used like some type of earthy ingredients, maybe like a little jicama or carrot or just something that adds a subtle sweetness to it. But it's got this earthiness as well. For me, the best part is they're not throwing a lot of the nang in there, which is that tapioca starch. It's not too, just goopy. I'm not big on a goopy flavor. It's simple, it's traditional. It's just what I would want from a stall that's been doing uh, bangkanku for decades. Wow. Mm. Oh. I find the tapioca noodle to be perfect. It's not chewy, it breaks off, but it has a subtle softness to it. It just resists your bite just a little bit. Oh, um, a bang guy? Yeah, go to Vietnam. One of the best pieces here. The wheat. Ooh. Good man, you don't like it. Yeah. More prize pieces here. Get that foreskin in there. That foreskin just melts in her mouth. A little bit there. Nook mum, chili. Mm. Again, I want the appreciation to go to the vendors here. You get these people that have been here a long time. They do the small details. They clean that prawn that took out that little intestinal lining of it. Also clean the head perfectly. You can eat the whole thing, no problem. A little bit of a crunch, nothing too overwhelming or unappetizing. So the lady right here that's leaving, she tried paying for my meal. I tell her, don't, don't, please don't pay for my meal. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Kanye. So, something you should know. Uh, the lady next to me did pay. I didn't want her to pay, but she did. And then I got a chatak, which was 15,000. And then Cole wouldn't let me pay for that. <laughs> so that means I got a good reason to come back. I need to go back and support here. Not because they made me eat for free, but because it's delicious, they're friendly people, and I love Vietnamese people because they do things for me, but, you know, Vietnamese people do enough for me. I need to do more for giving back. Anyways, I think that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to walk out of here. I hope you enjoyed the second half of it, because I did. You see all the interactions you get when you have a small camera? The quality may not be as good, but the interactions are a thousandfold better. So, this is Max. We'll catch you at the next one.